Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Kimsey. I'm the State Public Health Laboratory Director for California, and I'm welcoming you to the Richmond campus, where we have a large number of public health programs and our State Public Health Laboratory, which is the second oldest public health laboratory in the country. We have six large laboratories that make up the public health laboratory, two environmental laboratories, two infectious disease laboratories, a food and drug laboratory, and a genetic screening laboratory. We do thousands and thousands of tests here year on campus, and this testing is to maintain the health and welfare of the citizens of the state of California. Let me take you inside and we'll show you some of those laboratories and the dedicated scientists that make the laboratories run. My name is Dr. Vishnu Chaturvedi. I'm the chief for the Microbial Diseases Laboratory Program. We work with microbes or the bugs that cause human disease. These bugs are found on the air, water, food, in hospitals and communities. We provide all the information that the disease doctors or epidemiologists need to take effective actions to keep everybody safe and to control the spread of communicable diseases in California. This year we were involved in one of the biggest foodborne botulism outbreaks in California history associated with nacho cheese. We provided the clinical testing to identify cases that were associated with the outbreak and we were also able to identify the source of the infection. Our microbiologists here are like disease investigators. We create a sort of bacterial DNA fingerprint. Epidemiologists use this pattern information for outbreak investigation. My name is Jeff Wagner and I work for the Environmental Health Laboratory. I have some of the coolest tools. A scanning electron microscope can take 3D pictures. My job is to try and figure out uh, people's uh, environmental exposures and possibly uh, where they came from. We have two electron microscopes and several other advanced microscopes that help us do this. It can take uh, environmental particles and zoom down to basically the atomic scale. So what we're seeing here is chrysotile asbestos. The overall goal is to minimize people's exposures and if they are exposed, to figure out how we can stop that exposure from happening. My name is Rasul Kupai. I'm the chief of Genetic Disease Laboratory, Genetic Disease Screening Program. We screen uh, around 2,000 samples a day, half a million babies a year born in California. We capture more than 99% of babies and we screen for over 80 different diseases. If any of them become screened positively, we refer them to a specialist to provide early patient care. The goal of our program is that early intervention provide better follow-up for families in California, California babies. This is what we work for and we are proud of. Hi, my name is Cindy Wu. I work in the Food and Drug Lab branch of CDPH. And I do microbiological analysis of food samples and environmental samples as well as water. Test them for salmonella, E. coli, listeria, anything that could make people sick. Preventing more people from getting sick and from dying potentially making food sources healthier for Californians. I'm Carl Hansen. I've uh, been here in the CDPH virus lab for my entire career of 40 years. Currently, I am acting clinical lab director for the VRDL. We have recently been designated by the CDC to be one of four national centers for Zika virus testing. I think this is important for Californians, especially because the mosquitoes which transmit Zika virus are now found in Southern and Central California. Together, we can beat Zika. Hi, I'm Maria Salas. I work for the State Virus Laboratory. Uh, I work in the Medical and Epidemiology Liaison Section, and I coordinate Zika virus testing. We help physicians and local health departments decide what sort of tests are good for their patients to moms who are expecting babies or to partners or symptomatic people, and how to interpret the Zika results that we provide to them for their patients. I get a lot of satisfaction being able to talk to health departments and to physicians so they can better understand how to serve their patients. Hi, I'm Giorgio Cosentino. I'm a public health microbiologist and I uh, work specifically for the uh, Viral and Rickettsial Diseases Laboratory. The section I work in is responsible for uh, vaccine preventable diseases. I develop tests and, uh, and evaluate them and perform them for the uh, detection of uh, 
any of these uh, viruses that causes such diseases as measles, uh, mumps, dengue, West Nile. You know, once we know uh, that we have a problem, we have like an outbreak situation, the next step is making sure that anyone who's vulnerable is uh, protected. That makes it uh, all the more rewarding is to work with such a great team. My name is Shyamali Rubero. I work in the drinking water and radiation lab. We monitor radiation, background radiation. We get water samples, milk samples, fish, kelp, soil samples. If there is a release from a nuclear power plant, we will know because we monitor them. The most recent one was in the Fukushima power plant. We went into an emergency mode. We were collecting air samples and milk samples, water samples. This is beach water. To make sure that all Californians are safe and not exposed to radiation. Hi, my name is Kyung Mi Min and I work in Food and Drug Laboratory branch. We test the toxic chemicals like toxic matters, toxins, poisons in food, drug, dietary supplements, and cosmetics. This is our kitchen to cook crabs. We also work with FDA to respond to the food emergency. Our work helps to protect the Californians from adulterated and contaminated food and drugs. Hi, I'm Lisa True. I'm a nurse and I work for the California Tuberculosis Control Branch. We work to help people with tuberculosis get treatment and prevent others from getting infected. In 2016, over 2,000 people were identified with active TB disease and approximately 2 million people in California are infected with TB and could become sick if not treated. We work with Californians to help them stay healthy and be free from TB. My name is Stephen Arnon. Uh, I'm a physician. I'm the founder and chief of the Infant Botulism Treatment and Prevention Program. And our program uh, is responsible for the recognition of infant botulism. A major uh, activity was the development of the only treatment for this life-threatening disease. It's called Baby Big, a not-for-profit activity of the state of California. We produce and distribute it at cost. What the medicine does is it shortens the hospital stay dramatically because it, it ends the disease. More than 67 years of hospital stay did not happen because of this medicine. It's all about the children. Okay, you've seen some of our laboratories. In the next decades, we're going to be adapting new technologies to address the new and emerging infectious diseases and conditions that are threatening the state of the California. Thank you very much for coming.